portray a profound truth that many of us on the planet today have somehow failed to notice. In my view, this circumstance is not by accident. Human consciousness was always intended to pass through this period and learn lessons about greed and avarice. Lessons that had to be learned in a gross material existence, confined to a five-sense reality. Deprived of much of our ability to perceive what we are or what's going on around us. We suffer through this time in order to advance to a new level of realization. A realization that for many is rapidly approaching. The Vedics say that we're passing through the Kali Yuga, a time delineated as an era of intense suffering, deprivation, and materialism also referred to by the Greeks as the Iron Age. which has been foretold by prophets through the ages as one in a cycle which repeats over time. It's an era that will soon be over, replaced by another theater, or perhaps several possible theaters for our expanding consciousness to move through to replace the ravages and dense materialism of the Iron Age with a new range of experiences. I've always felt that for the Iron Age to have done its job, there should be a visible, more ideally measurable shift in consciousness awareness. There should have been lessons learned from this existence, this extreme fixation on materialism, war, feast and famine. It should have led at least some humans to assume a new viewpoint, one that cannot be completely controlled by the forces that seem to keep us trapped in this dense existence. A new vantage point that will be more characteristic of a learning platform fit for the upcoming era for the new human. What will this modified or expanded consciousness look like? And is it observable today? You know, I've been passionately interested in the answer to these questions for a long time and have done a lot of research to find what this movement would look like psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually. How would individuals think and behave that have moved beyond what I call conventional consciousness, a viewpoint that is easily manipulated? mind control and seduced into doing insane things that are not in the benefit of mankind or, in the end, in their own best interest. 
I became so interested in this topic that I and some of my colleagues published an edited book called The Post-Conventional Personality, available from Sunny Press. This book is a collection of empirical studies which look at how these individuals work, what they perceive of as self, and how they learn, and most importantly for us in the last days of the Iron Age, how they determine what is truth. For the most part, these individuals are devoted to consciousness development and would gladly do everything that they could to help us all expand our viewpoint. They realize that it's in everyone's best interest, and many of them live lives that are totally devoted to that end. Actually, I'm sure some of you watching this video right now are among the ranks of these beings, or know someone who is living a bit further down the path. A major characteristic is that love and development of mankind are paramount to them. The materialism of our current age, for them, always takes a back seat to human welfare and consciousness development. Through related research, I know that today, many new cosmic energetic forces are at play on the Earth and throughout the cosmos. This cosmic energy is showering the planet, not only causing radical changes in the electricity of the planet, but also influencing our consciousness, which, like everything else on this planet, is made up solely of energy. Myself and other researchers on this topic feel that with this new element influencing our planet, and indeed the universe, movement toward consciousness expansion has become vastly aided. It seems as if someone has thrown us a life raft. Unfortunately, today there still exists a countervailing force. The same force that has kept us locked in this materialistic fixation for as long as they will allow us to remember. And also, most unfortunately, this force controls the systems that we consider, for the most part, modern society, including, but not limited to, education, media, governments, large public corporations, healthcare, the military, and the entertainment industry because ostensibly these forces seem to be opposed to the evolution of consciousness. I will refer to them as the forces for involution. It appears that although our consciousness wants to naturally evolve and see the world and the universe from a higher perspective, these forces that control what we see, hear, learn, and think want to hold us in the Iron Age. They like the idea of infinite consciousness trapped in these easily managed packages, doing what we're influenced to do on behalf of the dark forces for involution. The question is, are there things that would make sense for us to do right now that would move us beyond this easily manipulated conventional mindset. To not only expand our consciousness beyond the influence of many of the devices used by the forces for evolution, but also help us see what human consciousness is and what it is capable of to move us with eyes wide open and full awareness of what's happening to a future with promise and most importantly independence. Probably Einstein's most famous quote posits, no problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. So let's take actions to move out of conventional consciousness and begin to glimpse what lies ahead. <laughs>